Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Oscar De La Hoya again reaches out to Mikey Garcia and says, hit me up if you want to become a pay-per-view star. Stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat, channel donations, the Venmo, and the Patreon family. We are working. Now, I had to make this video real quick. Mikey Garcia is preparing to move up to 140 again to face a champion. IBF champion, Sergey Lipinets, new champion who just fought on the, I believe I was at his last fight. I think it was on the Wilder Stavern 2 undercard. They're doing the press conference. They were in Texas today. I believe LA yesterday doing a press conference, promotional run. Now, Mikey Garcia on his Instagram, he said February 10th, 2018, San Antonio. And it's a picture of him and IBF champion, Sergey Lipinitz. Oscar De La Hoya, if you comment creep, you'll see he put good luck if you ever want to be a pay-per-view star, I'm right here. Hashed, or well, he, he tagged the handle to Golden Boy Boxing. Now, I'm just going to say it like this. I have no time to waste. But De La Hoya, to me, and Golden Boy, they appear desperate. And I'm going to explain why. Mikey Garcia is fighting on Showtime. Fact. Golden Boy's old president, Richard Schaefer, is putting on this Mikey Garcia fight. Him and his new company, Ring Star Promotion. Fact. Is going in a place where there's a high Hispanic, Mexican, Mexican-American population in San Antonio, Texas. Fact. And it's a title shot. So, Richard Schaefer's already been on record saying, hey, just keep watching this Mikey Garcia kid. He'll be a pay-per-view star. So, for De La Hoya to keep prying and probing at Mikey Garcia, trying to lure him over to Golden Boy, it just... Is, it's not a good look. And my question is very simple, especially with Canelo winning a draw or, or scoring a draw with Golovkin, who is his biggest star. Some people will say, hey, that's bullshit. Golovkin won. Some people say Canelo won. Some people happy with the draw. But now there's an asterisk until you do the rematch. So Canelo's true star power will be determined in the Golovkin rematch if he takes a hit, if he actually loses to Golovkin, you know what I mean? Obviously that's gonna be a hit. Now, Billy Joe Saunders just put on an absolute clinic versus David Lemieux, who I would probably suggest is the next biggest name on Golden Boy's roster. They got some Marlena Esparza, Ryan Garcia, people that I'm friends with, but they're still building. They're like newish pros and they're not fighting world-class competition. Mauricio Herrera, I haven't really seen much from him. Jesus Soto Carras, I think retired. Um, Lucas Matisse is fighting a relatively unknown power puncher from Thailand, I believe. And Jorge Linares is fighting on that same card. And it's not, it's in January, and I'm not really hearing too much buzz. So the reason why I say it looks desperate on behalf of De La Hoya is because you try to make the Cotto fight, Mikey Garcia, he didn't want to be in the Golden Boy contract, turn you down. They try to make the Jorge Linares fight where Mikey Garcia is a lightweight champion, he turned it down. He said, cool, strong offer, no contractual golden boy clause, but I'll pass and I'm gonna go with Showtime's offer. So obviously he liked the offer from Showtime, hence why he chose it, why February 10th, as he says, he's gonna be fighting Sergey Lipinitz at 140. And then he says the Lenatis or Lomachenko, those fights can maybe happen after that. But he did make his decision. So for Golden Boy and De La Hoya to just be like, <laughs> still trying to solicit and recruit him it just it looks kind of crazy especially like i said david that that's how you know they don't have the star power that they once had because why not focus on jorge lenada's lucas matisse card you steadily trying to get mikey garcia and promise him pay-per-view stardom he did the same thing with deontay wilder wilder is with shelly finkel lou debell has put on a lot of his recent fights and if he fights Luis Ortiz, that's a damn good fight that got rescheduled. Lou, uh, Lou DeBella probably put that on. They'll probably be on Showtime. And if he wins, he's he's definitely up there in line for a Joshua or a unification. Whoever wins Joshua, Joseph Parker. And then he said the same thing. De La Hoya said, oh, you should have signed with me and we would have made you a star. 
Anthony Joshua would be begging you for a fight. It's just like, what's the basis? Where, who's the star on Golden Boy? Canelo. Who else is remotely close to Canelo? You know what I'm saying? He's saying he'll make Mikey Garcia a star, but where's the proof? You only have one person that I can think of that's even remotely up there. I mean, obviously Canelo's the biggest star, but what I'm saying is just like, how, how are you so certain you would make Mikey Garcia a pay-per-view star and Deontay Wilder? Where's the, where's the proof? Like if I'm a photographer and someone wants to hire me for their wedding, they're gonna wanna see a portfolio, right? So to me, where's Golden Boy's portfolio of all these pay-per-view stars that they say in Oscar De La Hoya says he's gonna make? I just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? So it just, to me, it looks desperate and it looks like they're they're constantly looking for someone who's already established, looking for a name and trying to recruit him to Golden Boy. You know what I mean? And so far, Mikey Garcia has stayed where he's at, which has been his last three fights being on Showtime. Let me know your thoughts. Is Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy are they desperate to try to get some more big names on their on their resume or on their roster? I guess you could say. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing ego the future of boxing.